Let's go again. This time, the jackalope. We're going to do the fold for the zine again. The Mothman zine folding got a little bit chaotic this last time, so we're just gonna have a nice chill moment where we do the zine fold one more time, just so people can see, and you don't have to go back to the Jersey Devil uh, zine video to see it. So first, we're going to fold it hot dog style, fold the lengthwise, so it's a skinny paper. And then you're going to fold it again in half widthwise now. I've seen people get very particular about these where they have like folders and um, like bone folders where it makes it crease better and then they'll unfold it for each fold. I've never needed to do that. I, I do know that my edges are never perfect, but it doesn't bug me. Now, if you are very particular about your edges being all lined up, then um, I suggest looking at other zine folding techniques because there are different ones and um, maybe you'll find one that works a little bit better for you to uh, have a more perfect zine. Fold this in half again. So we have one, two, three, four, and the fold is on this side. So like that, and we're going to cut from here to here. Now, if my audio sounds different or too loud or weird, I'm trying to use my mic, my external mic, because I've noticed that my camera mic doesn't pick up stuff very well. So we're gonna try it this way. Okay, you unfold and then make a little mouth and then smush them together. They will fold out like this. And then you push against one center fold to make the fold like this. And this is your zine. This is my way I do it. Um, if you want to look up other tutorials, I highly suggest that. So now we'll number this. Today we are doing the jackalope. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know a lot about the jackalope. I'm starting to get nervous because as we go, I'm starting to step out of the realm of the. Uh, the ones that I know and we're starting to tiptoe into I'm just gonna start making shit up <laughs> territory and um, which I think actually probably would be really fun if you guys can give me like really out there cryptids really unknown to me and then I have to guess what they look like uh, any kind of facts about them <laughs> feel free to comment in the comment section below because that would be a super fun challenge. Now we're going to start planning this out. So we need a piece of paper. Move this to the side if I can. I have barely any room. All right, so we're doing the jackalope today. And I hope it's spelled. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Starting off great. How do you spell the jackalope? Okay, I did it before. I've done it before, so it's J-A-C-K-A-L-O-P-E, Jack Alope. Okay, so we got eight pages, right? So first page, we're gonna do the title. So it's title, and we're gonna have to put a little jackalope on there. I, I know what a jackalope looks like. I have no idea how to draw it in my style. So the second thing is going to be, um, oh, we would have to do the disclaimer, right? And there's one that I remember and it stuck with me because it's the creepiest freaking thing about the jackalope, which makes me like bleh, every time I remember it. Jackalopes can imitate human voices. It's not a real creature, but like, could you imagine just walking, like your car breaks down and you're in the middle of the desert and you're walking to like a friggin' store that you know is a mile up and all of a sudden you hear someone talking out in the middle of the dark. Ugh. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Yucky. Okay. Um, here's where we're at. I don't remember literally anything else. Okay. So we got our book laid out. Now we gotta figure out how I 
can even draw this thing, so let's let's do that. Let's do the easy page first. First things first. The title. Things. By the way, my hand is not warmed up at all, so it's gonna be kind of horrendous for a while. Ooh, like that. What is that? Ooh, would it be cute if it's called Things I Know About Jackalopes? Like, um, plural instead of Things I Know About The Jackalope. Would it be cute if it's Things I Know About Jackalopes? I feel like that's like cuter, right? Oh no, it's not gonna fit. Mm, you know what? It could be worse. I want to move the about over. That's better. Okay, so now the hard part is to figure out how to draw a little jackalope. Let's plan the back cover as well as the front cover at the same time. That way we don't run into what we did on the Mothman one where I realized that I don't know how to draw trees. What's in a desert scene? So obviously cacti and then maybe there's some rocks. Another cactus out in the distance. Let's figure out how to do the jackalope. <laughs> so I want to do cute antlers, but I don't remember how the antlers look on a jackalope. Like, I don't even know what an antelope looks like, honestly, to be fair. I know what jackrabbits look like. We used to capture them when we were little and fast. They look kind of screwed up, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of weird. Oh, there we go. Now he's looking kind of bunny-ish. Yeah, look at that. Kind of want it to have really big stupid eyes. Because these things can imitate human speech, so why wouldn't they be scary like that? Here's a question that I have that I can't research right now. Do you know if antlers on deer or elk or antelope you know if they have like symmetrical antlers or do they just have whatever grows grows kind of antlers, you know? I would love to know. Okay, so that's... I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know why, there's something about it. I'm not a fan of... <laughs> Just gonna keep going. <laughs> Next one. I was gonna do the disclaimer. Oh, that's right. Okay, that slants real hard. That's fine. Kinda wanna continue this cactus. Yeah, that was a good choice. And I'll just put like a an agave plant here. I don't know if there are agave plants in the I'm sure there are in the desert, right? I have a coffee plant in my front yard and he's full sun. He loves it. I barely even water that thing and it's like so beautiful all the time. These disclaimers are gonna start getting more and more wild I think as we go because this one's like, I almost have no knowledge on this subject. Oh, no, could you imagine one of the ones that I don't understand or I don't even know what it is and I'll just, Put, I have no idea what this is. I can't do research. Good luck. Oh no. <laughs> so the next one is going to be the origin. Okay, so for the origin, I know it was made up by a taxidermist. I don't remember where as a joke. And then it just kind of caught legs and started integrating into like the local lore, which is really cool, by the way, because like, that's a relatively new cryptid, you know? It's almost like if a creepypasta turned into a cryptid. Oh, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is it taxidermist or is it taxidermist? Oh. Taxidermy. Taxidermy. Okay, we're gonna stick with the egg. 
Woohoo! Barely made that. Now, if this is an eye, it would have made it easier, but we'll figure that out. Okay, so I want to have a jackalope head. One of those shields. Because I'm pretty sure that's... I've seen a, a taxidermied jackalope on one of these before. So we're going to do bunny ears. And then the horns kind of come out like this, right? How does the bunny nose look? Oh my god. Did I just like completely forget what rabbits look like? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna call it good. Okay. I mean, I'm not great at that, but let's call it good. Give it some bunny ears. How do bunnies sit? Oh. This is stressing me out a little bit, actually. <laughs> What's happening? Bunny? Jackalope, sir, are you okay? Okay, help me out on this one. Fawns. Right? Like, um, like Mr. Tumnus. Cryptid or no? You know? Same as like the Kraken. Cryptid? No. Medusa? Cryptid? No? Help me out here. What do you think? Because that'd be cool. I mean, it makes sense that a, a fawn would be... I mean, fairies... Are fairies cryptids? Or... Oh no. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. Ooh, ooh. Maybe. Okay. So we got that. And then. <laughs> and then what? And then what? Oh no! Okay. Close my eyes. Picture a bunny. What is that bunny doing sitting there being a cute bunny? All right. Yeah, we're gonna do it like this. I mean, that's not terrible. It could have been worse. It like could have been way freaking worse. You know what I mean? It's still pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. It's still pretty bad. Okay. <laughs> But you know, you know, we're here. It looks fine. We're almost done. We're almost done. Let's keep going. So we're on number five, which, oh. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> this one's the worst one. I don't, I just read the sentence can imitate a human voice and my whole body went bleh. <laughs> It's so gross. I would stop in my tracks and just immediately die. Like I would just be like laying on the ground being like, okay, I'm good. Yeah, no, that's that's it for me. Okay, so now I'm gonna do probably like a an agave plant here. Like that. And then we'll put like a rock here. Oops, that's not really a rock, huh? A rock here. And then just from behind the rock, it'll be a voice bubble that says, hello? <laughs> Yuck, absolutely not. Like if that doesn't bug you, you are made of something else. Like we are not the same. I think I found the first cryptid that freaks me out. <laughs> so far, you know what? So far, actually. Okay, we gotta move on. <laughs> okay, so I kinda did what I was gonna do here, here, because I put the fluffy tail, because I was gonna say it has pretty antlers, big ears, and a fluffy tail. I really wish I remembered what they did with their um, reproduction situation. I can't remember. It was something really cool though. I'm gonna have to look that up afterwards to see what exactly that was, because I remember it being super interesting. This is kind of a cop-out. I'm sorry. 
Okay, that's really squished and weird, but we'll have it there. Moo. I have all enough space to make my word long, very long, so I'm gonna do it. Look at that, that's long. <laughs> uh, I think and a should be just straight text. Let's do this fast because I'm pretty sure my memory's out of space, or my phone's out of memory. We're gonna pause it and then I'll come back. Uh, actually, we're just gonna, we're gonna wing it. We're gonna, we're gonna live dangerously. Okay, and then I'm gonna just do like deserty lines, maybe some rocks, nice agave plants. All right, so this is what we have for the zine. So I'm gonna pause and see what's going on with my phone. Okay, so let's get this color scheme going. All right, so this is what we have. I got a page here so I can test out my color scheme. And I'm thinking I want to go with like oranges and reds because it's the desert, but then there's also going to be some like muted greens. I know I want like a kind of not like an orange, but a burnt orange. So let's see. I don't know which ones these are. So this one's a little too bright. I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be exactly the same. Oh, this is brighter. Poppy red, maybe. It's a little pigmented, but I think I like the red in that. I don't think I really have a burnt orange in any of my color pencils. So I'll just keep these two out because these two look pretty nice. Yeah, that's kind of good. I think maybe I want like a dark blue. Let's see. What about like a muted blue? That kind of looks good together, yeah? What if we do like a purple blue? I like the blue better. Maybe like a green? Like a muted green? Does that work with those? No, I don't like how muted it is. Forest green? That looks super similar. It's a little more blue. It's a little too dark. Ooh, this one's cool. This one's like an olive. All right, so let's see what these guys look like together. Copenhagen blue. Then we got poppy red. Oh, cadmium orange, so toxic orange, cool. Olive green. Maybe a yellow. Mm, I don't know why, but I'm not sure I like the pink. I, but it does need something. Mm, what am I missing? Maybe a lilac. Maybe like a turquoise. Obviously for the the jackalope, we want some different browns. Sanguine. Oh, hey, this one's called cream. This one's ochre. I guess this will work. Okay. And I'll toss in whatever else I want to toss in.
so that is the whole zine. It is complete. I think it's all done. Um, there's probably a couple of things that I might add. And then I'm gonna clean up and let's take a look at the full zine. All right, here we go. So this is the jackalope zine. So things I know about the jack, or <laughs> let's start over. <laughs> Things I know about jackalopes. Disclaimer, no research has been done to create this zine. I have almost no knowledge on this subject. A lot of this info can be partially or fully fabricated by myself. I probably should have put May there. We're gonna ignore that. Created by a taxidermist as a joke. A mix between a jackrabbit and an antelope can imitate a human voice. Yuck. Ugh. <laughs> Has pretty antlers, long ears, and a fluffy tail. And it lives in the desert. And that's the end, and I forgot to color in the little jackalope, which is a bummer. <laughs> Here, let's do that right now. There you go. Perfect, look at him. <laughs> and that's it. That's my uh, jackalope scene. Thank you for watching. I hope you have an awesome one. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Why does my hand always default to drawing a peen? Because it's a gift.